Good morning, Zodiac. Welcome. Soul Family Read is for the 19th of October. Daily Collective Read for whoever resonates. Manifestation, spirituality, love, relationship. Um, to kind of share with you um, a little more personally in this read. I might read myself into it as we go along. And um, here I'm feeling kind of nuts and bolts. It's Tuesday. I'm kind of run down. <laughs> um, I had a long weekend. Got a lot done, uh, including the Mercury Retrograde readings, if you haven't seen them yet. Uh, did all signs Saturday and Sunday. Uh, Mercury Retrograde read for whoever is on your mind that you can't get off your mind. Whoever you can't stop thinking about, maybe. Whoever might be this one that got away energy. That's what I try to read with that. So it's a little special reading. Already shuffled here for today. So uh, let's see what we got without further ado. Do the regular four card read. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> I feel like this is a special little blessing for me because if anyone knows me, it's the uh, Jim Morrison King of Cups here. I love this King of Cups. You know, it's the coolest king. Got his little Pisces necklace. I mean, is that like a laid back king or what? You know, it, it more looks like a sorority party. <laughs> but he's the leader of the sorority house at the college, you know. Um, wow. Well, um, I like being in that energy. It's, um, you know, it's peaceful. It's hippie. I'm going to tell you. Yeah. Well, what's the cool thing about the hippies? They're like, you know, hey, man, what's the big deal? We just smoke some pot and, uh, yeah, we make love and uh, we are happy and dance and listen to our music, you know? Oh, well, well, yeah, no, that's pretty much right on. That's like, <laughs> ideally, my life <laughs> right there. <laughs> oh, man. <coughs> Excuse me. Still recovering. So, yeah, uh, uh, what do they call old hippie, a yippie? Mm -hmm. He's a mature king, too, this one. So, what's crossing us, the hermit? <laughs> I laugh because this is totally me right here, the hermit. I've been the hermit for so long. But you got to look at it like this is in crossing position. So, it's almost as if it's hermit reversed. Um, and instead of really hermit reverse, sort of not looking at yourself, wasting your energies, pointing at everybody else what's wrong, um, here with it blocking, it's like uh, maybe going on for too long. You know, it's time to get out of the cave energy. I think that's all that is. Um, like we're in this kind of, we want to be this cool, can't really cool king, you know, the coolest. Can we say the coolest king? I think we can. It's, it's the coolest king. You could put that like in, uh, make that uh, inter official interpretation. The Jim Morrison King of Cups is now known as the coolest king, you know. But standing in the way is like we're kind of still geeking out. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally feeling it. Uh, you know, we're still like want to be in the cave and doing the uh, hermit stuff. And yeah, I'm really feeling it's over for that in general, you know. It's like, God, I've been a hermit long enough. Now, this is advice from Spirit. You know, this, come on, Spirit's saying, slow it down. I know it's always saying to me, slow it down, slow it down. It's part of what this is. This is slow and steady and focusing on realistic things, being grounded. This is what Spirit's saying. Watching the money, watching the budget, being grounded. You don't want to be the fraternity house, King of Cups, man. You want to be the King of the Castle, King of Cups who's, you know, super cool, but also super responsible kids. <laughs> yeah, the super responsible dude, uh, could be the dude too, kind of has that vibe, the great Lebowski. But this is definitely spirit saying, and you know, there's probably uh, something about, this is very much about cooperation in this deck. It's cooperative work, so um, grounding ourselves, cooperating in some practical way, um, take care of business. 
Don't get too pie in the sky, David. That's what it's trying to say. And just to drive that home, out comes the King of Pentacles. And wow, what a tremendous power and balance. You know, I told you, this is not this this is not the party guy out of control king. I told you, right? Uh, he's still the king of the castle. He's just laid back, man. He's got a cool way about it. And I think this cinches it up. Like, if there was any doubt that this is like your irresponsible king, uh, just, you know, um, doesn't give a bug, party, party. Not the case at all. Hmm. And when the universe says, you know, pay attention to pinnacles, you know, take care of business. I mean, apparently we do it. Maybe this is just a status check. Call this a status check. This is what we're doing. You know, but coming out of love, coming in, cut the King of Cups, you know, that uh, just being emotionally connected. And I'm just, you know, I, I love the old hermit, you know, I've done, done my time now. It's like, old man, you know, I have to leave the cave now, old man. And I need to go out there in the world and in a responsible way, right? Not the fool way, but a responsible kingly way. And by God, I'm going to do it. And... And it's going to be fine. As a matter of fact, I'm the king of pentacles here. I mean, that's pretty much as strong as you can get. I mean, um, not the emperor, but might as well be. Bottom of the deck, Herophant. So that's two kings in the Herophant, and the hermit, for that matter. So out of five cards, four is Major Kana. And that's bringing in the spiritual wisdom into it. Um... I mean, there's a lot of masculine energy here. And Taurus could be relevant. And marriage could be relevant. I mean, certainly this is a person that's, that's ready to be married. And it can speak to a water sign and an earth sign energy too. It doesn't have to be male, male, female, female. It could be anything uh, in a general reading like this. Um, and it wouldn't be surprising that if that kind of energy would translate into a relationship, that's what you wanted. Because when you're in the king energy, king of cups here, cool king, I uh, mean, you're going to get a king in response. That's how it would work. So let me know what you think, guys. Do appreciate comments. Um, you know, tell a friend, tell a friend. Thank you, guys.